I'm Sarah Birch with Kingsness News, and here's your top headlines today, November 8, 2023. Each year, the pediatric program at Kingston Health Sciences Center gets a financial boost thanks to the KGH Auxiliary's Teddy Bear Campaign. The annual tradition is geared toward purchasing patient care equipment and has contributed over $480,000 since its inception in 2004. The 2023 Show Children You Care Teddy Bear Campaign will help purchase patient care equipment for the pediatric program at KHSC. Accused arsonist Jay Bradley, owner and operator of a formal local roller skating business, was scheduled to present his bail plan in Napanee Court via video on Monday, November 6, 2023, but he never appeared. Bradley stands charged with two counts of arson, criminal harassment, and possession of incendiary material for allegedly setting two fires in the early morning hours of Monday, October 23, 2023. Barry Scott Wood appeared in the Kingston Court of Her Worship Justice of the Peace Karen Bowham for a bail hearing, 14 months after he was charged as a result of a crime spree that culminated in a standoff with Kingston Police in September of 2022. On Thursday, September 8, 2022, Kingston Police responded to a report of an assault with a weapon, which occurred on a Kingston Transit bus in the area of the Kingston Center. One person on the bus had been stabbed. Barry Scott Wood was located later that day but refused to leave his apartment, which resulted in a standoff of more than 24 hours. Barry Scott Wood will next appear in court on Tuesday, December 5, 2023. Within half an hour of issuing a press release regarding a male suspect aggressively approaching and touching females in the downtown core, Kingston police have made an arrest. Police disclosed that a 24-year-old man from Kingston is being held at Kingston police headquarters pending a bail hearing on the morning of Wednesday, November 8, 2023. He is charged with six counts of sexual assault. The Land Conservancy for KFLNA is hosting a free online event, The Scoop on Poop, identifying animals by their scat, which will be of interest to people who walk in the woods and wonder which animals are walking there too. Attendees will hear from guest speaker Peter Simmons, chief park naturalist at Algonquin Park, and will have a chance to share their own photos of animal scat from the area. Mayor Brian Patterson announced the recipients of the 2023 Mayor Arts Awards at an event on Monday, November 6, 2023, in Memorial Hall at City Hall. The Mayor's Arts Awards are part of an annual program that celebrates artistic achievement and recognizes extraordinary contributions in and to the arts. A Kingston resident who was anonymously reported to the Ministry of Environment, Conservation and Parks has been charged with violating the Provincial Pesticides Act. According to the Government of Ontario, Kingstonian Trevor Timpany was convicted for using, causing, or permitting the use of prohibited pesticide for cosmetic reasons. Timpany was convicted of this violation on Tuesday, October 10, 2023. For more on these stories and other local news, please visit kingstonist.com and subscribe.